This is exciting times. Right there in the garden happening now is my future studio space, office build. Say goodbye to this cramped mess and say hello to what is gonna become the James Kelly Studio Headquarters. Obviously, this is not going to be like a Peter McKinnon office, not even a Matty Hapoya office. This is more like a garden shed, but a posh garden shed. The best space for what I can see as a YouTube set, photo studio, and place to work away from all of the, uh, you know, the kiddie toys. This is uh, not sponsored by Mini Micro. Basically, I need to get away from kids' toys and actually have somewhere suitable to put all of this gear because it is getting out of hand. Let me show you my initial plans of what I'm gonna be doing. So at the back of the garden here, that is where we are building the studio space. The build's gonna be a five and a half by four meter build, uh, sticking to the regulations by only going 2.5 high, so that's not ideal for flat lay overhead photography, but we'll make it work. Um, just gonna go make a tea round for the boys. Gotta keep them fed. Why do builders always like sugar in their drinks? I guess they are using more energy than us. Yeah. So building this office is actually costing quite a lot of money. It was a choice of between the investment in an office in the garden, which hopefully will add some value to the house, versus renting a studio space, which means all my equipment is elsewhere. I feel like this build will complete the house a bit more now. Uh, we've always wanted a space where I can have my equipment because our kitchen, unfortunately, has never been used as a proper kitchen. So with me out of the way, we can finally put a family dining table there again and actually have meals, not on a carpet, on a hard floor. Builder's tea. Just black, no milk, no sugar. Never done that before with anyone. So I'm not used to doing this unscripted vlog style to the camera. Lighting is very basic, just bouncing off the wall, a small tiny light. But I want to document this office build with you guys and best way to do it is just be quite raw and honest and messy. <laughs> Talking of mess, that is what we're gonna talk about today. One of the first things I wanna get done in the office is a storage solution. Now I don't want racks, I got, well, I've got a few criteria. It needs to be movable, it needs to be lockable, and it needs to be attractive. Now, the only thing I've seen is when I've been doing my research is where some YouTubers have converted rolling tool cabinets into their photography equipment storage solution, and I think that's the solution to go down. The one I've been eyeing up is this 72-inch model from Homebase. I'm in the UK, I don't get the likes of Husky that easily, so this home-based model, which is called Ultimate Storage, it seems pretty perfect in the fact that it's nice and long, 72 inches, it's got a really thick, I think it's 35 mil wooden worktop on top, and it's lockable, obviously, from a single key. I can have pretty much all my equipment in these drawers, deep ones would hold photography gear, lenses, bodies, lighting, then you go up to the smaller drawers where you've got batteries and leads and clips and pens, notebooks, sketchbooks, everything would have its own place. And I also like the fact that it's got the wood top. I think that looks a bit more homely rather than a garage and an extra shooting surface 
always helps. You can roll it into a set where the lights are and stuff. So rather than like a rack where everything's visible in Tupperware tubs or whatever, I think a sleek, lockable, push it out of the way if I need the space, use it as an additional set top uh, for photography. Also maybe mount a monitor onto it so it can be wheeled into view for product shoots when I'm tethered. And I think based on what I've seen, you're seeing it on the screen with me, this is the best solution. And I can save 200 pound on the retail price at the moment from an offer that I found. And I, I'm struggling to find something better based on UK kind of shops, Halfords, Screwfix, uh, Homebase, B&Q, that sort of place. So if you guys have any other recommendations that's better than this one that I found for the similar sort of price and still looks as good, then please do let me know. That is the first thing to sort storage i want to hit buy now because i don't know how long the offer is going to last but it will probably come way before the office is finished and it is heavy and big so i don't know where i'd store it but i don't want to miss out on 200 pound saving so maybe help me out here guys show me what to do for storage <laughs> or give me some links to look at uh, or start a conversation down below that's it for this video and uh sorry it's not a polished one like i said but if you want me to do this sort of thing, let me know, because I could do quite easily every other day or something updates on the office build. It's quite fun filming B-roll of men and power tools. <laughs> I wish we had the rights to use the Rocky soundtrack because that's what the guys are playing up there. And uh, it certainly makes the saw cutting and sort of spewing everywhere suit, especially in slow motion. See you on the next video, guys. Peace.